Hi everyone, this is Freddy Hero here, and in today's latest video, I want to talk to you about Scorch and whether the buff that he received in Frontier Dependence patch was actually truly good and actually useful. Now, Scorch is a odd titan. Compared to all the other titans in the game, Scorch is the only titan that doesn't have a kit that allows him to take on opponents at long ranges. Unless you come into his wildfire launcher, then really he doesn't really have much to work with. He's more of a titan that is designed for close range and medium range engagements. But it's because of that, that on some maps, Scorch isn't really usable and the main problem with this is that compared to all the other titans in the game, he's one of those titans that will be severely underused and severely at a disadvantage compared to other players. Now if you play him on Crash Site for example, you'll be able to dominate the map quite quickly and easily because the kit is basically designed for crowd control. But however, if you decide to play him on Homesteed instead, for example, Homesteed is more of a map that's designed for Titans for long range to medium range engagements, so Monarch, Ion, Legion, and Norsa. Using Scorch, you're kind of gimping yourself, unless you stick to the lanes. And even if you stick to the lanes, that's still, like I said, gimping yourself. So with all the bad things being said, and how people say that Scorch is underused, and how he's a terrible Titan and that no one really uses it, Scorch got a buff. And it was a good welcome buff, because now, Scorch is still as viable as I always thought he was. Now, I'm a Scorch main, and I always have been since the day I started Titan 2. And when all these players get mentioning how Scorch is a Titan that's severely underused, and a, and a Titan that is not so good against pro players, I agreed. As, yes, against players that aren't that relatively good, and players that don't understand the map, Scorch is amazing. Scorch can clean up kills, he can rack up kills, he can do a lot of damage within a short amount of time. But against really good players, in really good titans, I'm at a severe disadvantage and unless I'm sticking with my teammates, I can't win those engagements. Against tone players, I won't have a good chance of basically getting in close, doing a ton of damage and coming out successful. 9 out of 10 is either I come out completely badly damaged and the other titans completely doomed or I come out dead. So in terms of the buff that you received it says that Scorch now has a one dash charge built into him like for example Ion and Monarch. So instead of me going ahead and using standard turbo dash kit for Scorch now he has it built in however it recharges up at a much slower pace and that's fine because I'm actually quite happy with this because now instead of me going ahead and always picking a turbo dash now I can actually go ahead and, and pick overcore for example or I can go ahead and use double electric smoke or I can go ahead and use nuclear ejection I can go ahead and use other titan kits just like all the other titans can use other um, kits for themselves it also says here that he's received a increase to his firewall's width something that is very welcoming because really I never had much of a problem with it. His wildfire launcher now increases the, the direct hit damage of the thermite launcher. So now this basically means that instead of me going ahead and using the wildfire launcher kit that basically allowed me to do a bit more extra damage, now I don't have to go ahead and use that. And it's this part here that I'm actually really happy with because my standard kit was always the turbo dash and the wildfire launcher because all the other kits for Scorch just wasn't viable for him. His thermal attacks were too powerful. Against other titans it did good damage but against me it was too much. And like I said playing on maps like Crash Site, yes I can dominate but when it came down to closing in and doing a ton of damage on the titans that may be in the corners and such I was basically gimping myself because I was doing more damage to myself compared to the Titan. So the fact that now they basically allowed me to switch up whatever Scorch kit I want to, it basically means I can actually go in with different tactics and different loadouts. Is that the same old thing? It also says here for some of the other buffs, Scorch Earth Lingering Fire lasts longer. Now this is something that I haven't exactly tested just of yet. And it's something that I never really tried out whatsoever because it's a very situational perk. Because the only time this is actually really effective is in, I say it depends on the map you're playing on. Now I'm going to use Crash Site again and I'll say 
complex as well just to try to change it up if I was in a lane area and the enemies are facing my friendlies and they're duking out and I sneak up on them and I had the Scorch Earth Lingering Fire perk built in then yes this would do a ton of damage and would work out within my favour but on other maps where there's a bit more freedom and such it's not really worth it and I'm, I'm probably going to guess it's quite limited in range so it's really dependable on whether you should go ahead and use it or whether you should go ahead and use something else that actually fits the role but the one perk that's really I say changed up Scorch that's really made it a bit more viable I'll say to a medium to a top tier Titan is his tempered plating his temper plated now makes Scorch immune to crits and his own thermite damage. This here, this kit right here is the is the gold mine. This is the one kit that for some odd reason before it only reduced the damage you receive from thermals. Now I can actually equip this and every time I shoot at the ground or I use my gas canisters and my firewall or anything for my own attacks and I walk into it, I take no damage. And this here is what was truly needed for Scorch. Because Scorch is one of those titans that, if he's not aware of how much damage he's doing to himself, he can get carried away and easily doomed and killed. This kit here is honestly a lifesaver for me. Because now, I actually go into the games, and I can actually do a lot more damage, and actually notice that I'm doing the damage, and I don't have to be worried or afraid to actually close in and do the extra damage or be the finisher. So every time I use my gas canisters, or I use my or I use my thermal launcher, and I close in onto that opponent, and I use my flame shield to do a bit extra damage, now I don't have to worry about the extra damage. Unless, for example, I change it for something else. So personally for me, the patch has basically allowed Scorch to be more viable in terms of types of damage types of kit he uses and type of engagements. The only problem I still see with this is that he still doesn't have anything to allow him to combat long range activities. All the other titans in the game have some form or way to cover ground or do extra damage across a much wider spectrum. But Scorch on the other hand, Scorch doesn't have that. And like I previously said, if you're going to go ahead and use his thermal launcher, yes, it is considered a close, medium and long range weapon, so you could use that to counter other players, however, it's not a weapon that you want to be relying on the most, because that weapon is only as good if you know exactly where the enemy is going to, and I find that the weapon is more better in close to medium range engagements rather than long range. So personally for me, yes, the buff for Scorch was nice, and it actually makes Scorch more viable in different types of engagements. Now I can be more aggressive, now I can actually dish out more damage, now I can actually change up my kit and actually try out something completely new rather than sticking with the same old same old. However, like always, Scorch isn't that top tier. He's heading there, but to me personally I would say he's more of a middle class type titan. He's good, he's functional, but he's not good against pro players, like players that actually know how to counter him and he's and he still doesn't have something that allows him to counter long range engagements but Scorch is still viable like always and compared to all your titans depending on how you play and depending on how well you understand the map and depending on what type of players you're up against Scorch could be the number one titan that can pretty much dominate any map and I should know because I use Scorch one too many times so that is the end of the video I do hope you enjoyed it if you did then leave a like a comment and subscribe for more if you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike, I understand and I know what to do in the nearby future. So once again guys, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.